out there, you guys? Marty here again. I uh, wanted to um, talk about my uh, new guitar solo DVD pack that I just finished. Uh, it's four DVDs, and then I'm also throwing in uh, what I did was I took all my favorite um, YouTube lessons that are based on licks and soloing, and I put that onto a bonus disc. So it's going to be four DVDs plus the bonus disc of all my favorite uh, YouTube soloing lessons. So I put that all together. I just finished it. But what I want to let you guys know is um, uh, I'm going to have a little contest here. So people that are on my email list, and you can click the link to the right and sign up on my email list. It's not too late, but I'm going to pick five people this week. I'm going to pick five people from my email list, and I'm going to give them, I'm going to send them this package for free. I'm going to pick five people randomly and they will win this package before it comes out. So go ahead and sign up there and uh, you know if you haven't signed up you're missing out because I'm gonna give the uh, I'm gonna give um, some free DVDs away. They're basically the continuation off of what's called my intermediate set. Uh, my intermediate uh, DVD soloing set uh, covered the you know all my favorite pentatonic ideas which would be like you know the E root pentatonic and blues scale with its extension the A root of that same thing um, and then the major forms of that as well So on this next set, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's the next progression of things that I think you should learn or really, you know, what's, what's helped me. And when I first started playing guitar, like the idea of doing a guitar solo or jamming seemed um, like a very daunting task. And I really, you know, wasn't my goal. I just, it seemed like an unattainable goal. Um, but what I started doing was um, just learning one tiny little lick at a time from my friends and then finding really good guitar teachers. And I just realized that just with a couple of the right little tricks and tools, like I'm teaching in these DVDs, it, it didn't seem as impossible. Um, and then all of a sudden, I found myself, you know, jamming with a band and like, you know, having a great time and, you know, just being amazed that, that I could actually do it. So I think that you can do it too. And um, so what I did was on these DVDs is I um, taught the rest of the pentatonic shapes. So there were little gaps from what I taught before that I filled in in the uh, basically the first disc of this set I complete all the pentatonic stuff with examples and licks and um, things that I think are relevant um, you know for you to actually learn that stuff um, an example would be like if I take this um, D minor pentatonic right here I uh, you know do a whole lesson on the shape right below it you know so you visualize where the root is and then you bust through it like you know so you can climb into it and go back down so I fill in all the pentatonic gaps I think it's really helpful um, you know I worked really hard on it and I listened to a lot of feedback from people on what they were learning what was working for them so then the next thing I did was um, you know be besides showing examples and licks, is I went through all the shapes of um, what are called the modes. It's that next thing that you want to learn after the pentatonic, so you can play more um, melodic style solos and improvising. And, you know, a couple examples that use those full shapes would be something like a Santana thing. <laughs> So you you get blues elements, but then you get these little half-step shapes that add that melodic, that extra sound. So that'd be one example. Um, another example, straight from the, the, these modal scale shapes that I'm teaching in this new series. Um,
So, so in other words, adding these, these little elements, these half steps on top of the pentatonic. And a lot of people have responded when I put YouTube videos up of, of that style playing. Um, another example could be something like this. So they're in, you know, anything from classic rock all the way to Metallica, you're going to be using these scale shapes in melodies and as well as improvising. So I go through that, I cover all that stuff with uh, relevant examples, and then, um, and then on a whole disc, I, I focus on what you know I call like the mixolydian, which is stuff that you can apply in jazz and blues, like um, you know bluesy but sophisticated, like this kind of thing. You know, so it goes beyond that pentatonic vibe. So I focus on that. And I give you all the, um, the most common uh, shapes of the scale, as well as, you know, the most common types of chord progressions that you're going to find with that. So, you know, basically what I did was I just took, you know, the feedback and, um, you know, what I had already taught on my other solo DVDs and just took it to the next step to try and, you know, have a progression for you so you know what to follow. You know, with the YouTube videos, you know, I might teach you a beginner thing, and I teach an advanced thing, and I teach a little bit of this and a little bit of that. They're like, you know, they're like little musical snacks, whereas this DVD set is a very specific program that's going to get you, um, you know, step by step, step by step to raise your plane to that, you know, pass that, that next plateau, all right? But what you want to do right now is because the, uh, the DVDs are not available yet. They'll be available in about a week or so. So if you sign up on the list, like I said, I'm going to pick five people from the list. And I'm going to send it to you first because the people on my list are, you know, the most loyal people I have. And I, I want to give back to you a little bit. So, um, so you'll be hearing from me. Like I said, I'm going to pick five people randomly. I'm going to send you those DVDs for free before anyone else. So Anyway, thanks for all the support, you guys, and I got plenty more lessons on YouTube coming up. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, but, uh, you know, definitely appreciate the support. And just remember, just keep jamming a little bit at a time in tiny little doses, and you'll feel that improvement. And, uh, you know, that's it. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you later.